Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are doing Brutal Doom today. Uh, this is actually a newest version, so this is sort of like a beta test version of Brutal Doom. Uh, if you play Doom, I'm sure some of you played it on different things. I'm going to drop the links below to the programs I use to play this. Uh, and the front end for it, front end is like a loading program. Um, I'm not providing out to the WAD for Doom. You need a legal WAD for that. Don't ask me. Uh, for it, I actually have my old um, purchase of that uh, that I kept for many years. And then, funny enough, um, yeah, yeah, I actually still somewhere have my box uh, uh, at my parents' house of Doom. Two, and I want to see my discs for Doom One, Two, uh, and Chex Quest. Yes, Chex Quest, a little CD-ROM from Chex Mix, or uh, not Chex Mix, uh, Chex Serial. Chex Quest was surprisingly good, actually. It's a Doom engine. So, anyways, this is not Doom as you've seen it. You can see already here. This is a new intro. We're gonna do Hell on Earth, of course. Yeah. We'll start with Too Young to Die, just uh, not to be a wuss or anything, but because this, as you see, this is very different. Now, if you want the HUDs I use and all that, uh, I will also link you to the HUD I use. You want to set your screen size to 11, or this HUD won't show up. And turn off the alternative HUD. Well, I'm hoping you all can hear me well enough in this, but. Uh, this wasn't the original game I was going to do tonight, but sadly, that game just keeps crashed. <laughs> keeps crashing. So we're doing this one. Um, I'm hoping y'all can hear me good enough, but I'm guessing you probably can. Uh, I will warn you, this game gets quite gory. So if gore bothers you, um, maybe go watch one of our other Let's Plays, guys. And uh, it's been a while since I've done Doom, so I don't quite remember where all the secrets are for them. So uh, don't be yelling at my screen and stuff and be like, Oh, you idiot, you should have known there was one there, because you know what? I don't remember. We're going to have a little fun here, though. I use this. Yeah, this, uh, now this is a little different. This is not the standard, uh, Brutal Doom. This is an even gorier version. Um, the updated version, which has new weapons, old weapons. My favorite out of the Brutal Doom weapons is the rifle. Because I feel like if you were a space marine, you would use a rifle, not a friggin' handgun. And now, in this update, I believe, he has put both the handgun and the rifle in this. So, you get the best of both worlds with it. See, there we go. There's a handgun. You can get double rifles, double handguns, um, double rainbows. It's crazy, guys. Not double rainbows, really. Um, the reason a lot of gamers like these gaming engines for Doom and all these, though, are that you can actually go and mod them quite well. Uh, I'm not kidding you when I say there are things that this game can do that I have never imagined ever seeing in Doom. Look at the zoom, for example, just on the rifle alone. Um, there are fatalities in this. When you get berserk, you grab the monsters and do random fatalities on them. Um, he took the sprite of the space marine that used to just be the guy that was impaled on that stake. No, now they're only tied to it, and if you rescue them, they will join you in your monster killing. And um, they're quite intelligent, and they will say things, and you can have a whole team of them. So you can have a whole little posse of marines following you around, helping you whoop people. Um, and it's actually a pretty awesome thing to see. So, yeah, that can happen. Uh, now, again, I'm, I'm going through all this and double-checking. I know there's one... I want to say there is a, another secret around here, maybe? Maybe I'm... There it is. I was going to say, I could have swore there was another secret around there. 
Um, and I know I've already missed one secret this level, I'm positive. But, you know, you do what you can. Uh, now, things about this that are amazing. As you can see, the lighting engine is quite good. Now we're dealing with a shotgun. Um, hopefully this isn't too loud for you guys. I don't know if we're to the point of double rifle yet. Oh yeah, and grenades. They have friggin' grenades, guys. Amazing. Now I don't know if he has done the double uh, rifle thing yet. No, he has not. Uh, for this. But this is a beta. In the other one, there are double rifles. Um, and if you guys like this Brutal Doom enough, I'll throw on the previous version. Uh, but I will link you guys to this one. You will need this. You will need a program to run it. I'll link you to the one I use, GZ Doom. And I will link you to the front end I use to get it all nice and organized. And all you really do is drag the Brutal Doom file, the music file I'm going to link you out to, which is the uh, metal music. I get, think it gives it a nice atmosphere, amps it up, you know. Um, it's good for the killings. And the killings is good, as you can see. Yahtzee! So, as I was saying, look at how far <laughs> this guy's come with this, man. Uh, Mark Sargent, I believe he is. He has done amazing work with this, and if I mispronounce that, please forgive me, Mark Sargent. Uh, but no, he, he has done some stellar, stellar stuff with this. Um, when I first heard this, I was a huge Doom fan growing up. That game blew my mind. It was the second FPS I ever played after Wolfenstein, and I was not prepared for it at all. The first time I played it, it was late at night. I had gotten a 486DX computer. Um... I don't remember the exact company, mind you. But, uh, you know, 28 baud modem, old school, that's how I roll. High tech, baby, high tech. And I remember um, that they had bought me a copy of Doom to install, so I installed it immediately. Um, and Wolfenstein, I played on my buddy's computer. Uh, so I did not own Wolfenstein until later. It went on sale, I grabbed it too. But I did own Doom, and with my love of horror games and anything monster related, I went nuts. Um, and let me tell you something, Doom is creepy at night in the dark. Good, bad, I'm the guy with the gun. Little punks, you see that guys? You see what they did there? Good job. That's a mess. I did not forget about that one, let me tell you. Very easy to forget about that one, though. And it's funny, because the, the hint is already right there. But uh, you'd be shocked at how many people actually forget about that. But don't, if you can help it. Because it is, it is literally a life city. Um, but no, Doom changed everything for me, man. I, I never played a game where monsters attack monsters, where, you know, imagine late at night, the first time you hear the zombie, uh, troopers breathing in that, like, heavy breathing thing, and it's already dark in your room, and, you know, it, it was a little creepy. Um, it wasn't jump scary, but it was, actually, I will say, honestly, a decent facsimile of uh, a horror game, because it was scary. Now, as you can see here, as I said before, there's a lot of gore. I think that's probably a, a slight little oopsie up there, but you can see the water actually ripples and splashes, which is awesome. He's done liquid physics. Um, if you are like me, you never thought you'd see liquid physics in Doom. And again, I never, never thought I'd have the ability to rock kick a dude either, so... 
he set the bar quite high. Um, now, what does this thing cost? Of course it's free, it has to be free, because you can't charge money on uh, somebody else's product, which is why all these mods are free. But out of all of them, I, I honestly have to recommend his the most, if you can stomach the gore. Uh, I know people who tend to be lightweights with gore, they can't handle this, they watch me play other games, but uh, when I start, you know, doing the fatalities on this, they're not able to stomach that as much. Now again, this one has some different things like waterfalls and all that. Newer features, so we're taking a peek at the public beta of uh, his new one. He didn't want to rush it. He wanted to put it out there. Q is tick. Um, I like how I'm telling you guys all this stuff, and I literally just did that and failed. And again, this is probably my favorite gun just because of what it is. <coughs> I also don't know if he has implemented the double weapons, and I'm just uh, I'm missing something here. I feel like they were easier to get before. Um, yeah, the soundtrack is a metal soundtrack. You don't have to use it. That's another good thing about these. Uh, that's a new guy, I think. Yes, it is. Um... Oh my god, look guys. New weapon. Never ever use this. Oh, I like it. In real life, the axe is one of my favorite tactical weapons. Um, just to own. I have long toted the amazing ability of a axe and why I believe every household home should keep one for emergencies. Not just survival, but for emergencies. But also for survival, you know? Um, they are devastatingly efficient. Gotta sound like a freaking psycho right now, but I genuinely. Um, never underestimate the ability of some gorgeous lighting either. Look at the lighting up here, guys, with the, uh, the flames here that they owe oh, you. You it's one of you. Uh, what was their name again? These are not imps. These are the just called demons, but was there not another name for the invisible ones? Or was there not? I don't remember. Now, one cool thing as well, grenades. Yes, grenades. And they are awesome. A lot like Lucille. And uh if you don't know what Lucille is, I'm not gonna spoil it, but Frankly, because I don't watch the show. I, I just know the quote. Uh, I read the comic way back in the day a little. Not too much. Never cared for the show just because... Like I said in a previous video, I got zombied out, man. I got just burnt out of zombies. I was... Uh, I feel like we've overdone it to the degree that I, I just don't care anymore about zombies. I'm done with it. We have all these great creatures. All these classic creatures. When's the last good monster movie you guys saw? You know? And don't tell me that friggin' movie, uh, with the mom, where the mom goes on some trip with her daughter and gets stranded. And I don't remember the name of that one, but oh, I hated that film. The mom was horribly mean to the daughter in it. So I really had no sympathy in it. I didn't care if she lived or died in the movie, and I feel like that's not. not what you should have. You're supposed to care about the characters, you know, so the fact that I didn't... Ooh, that is new. Look at that, folks. Getting it done. Really? How are you made out of these? Um, so yeah, this is... <laughs> I, I'm still, I'm sorry, guys. I'm like a kid in a candy store with this. Um, but yeah, you know, let's even show you here, left, right, some uppercuts in there, a little soap on a dopa rope, mix it up, you know. So they really, uh, he did some work on this one. Uh, and yeah, I was always impressed with this stuff, but this stuff here is just, look at that. Did you do that in the other game? Just totally Mike Tyson, a friggin' demon? No. But look at this. So, in this one, when you run out of ammo, y you truly do have other options. Something you could not have done before. By any 
stretch of the imagination, guys. So um, now we're going to see what we can do here. So chain gun, normal gun, both versions of a shotgun. Um, we're going to see what the other ones do here. And three options through one when you cycle them. I'm loving this axe though, man. I think it's faster for one thing than the uh, than the other the other option. But also, uh, it's, it's an axe. You get to attack the demons with an axe. So what is not to love? I ask you. You said, knowing they could not answer him directly. Um, no, I, I enjoy it quite a bit though. I know I've stated that, but I, you know, I don't care. I've stated it twice now. Um, God, I got so geeked playing this, I think I literally forgot where I was going. So, let's get back there, shall we? Hi! I'm going to jump you up now. Uh, but no, I mean, you'll see the viscera, the, the intestine, the... Uh, so, this probably isn't a game to play, like around somebody that is not alright with gore. This is certainly not a game to play around somebody that gets offended easily. And if they are triggered, forget about it. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now, guys, see this here. So you use the U key, U key, use key, and now you have a homie in arms, a, a fellow compatriot, a fellow soldier, a marine, who you have rescued. Uh, and he will fight quite intelligently, actually, with you, and help you the entire game. And it's awesome. <clears throat> because, as I said, you can have quite a few. Um, and I love that, because I really wish it was a feature they had put in the original game, because it makes it feel so much more like a... You know, like you are really fighting. I think I picked the wrong one, didn't I? God. Make men to meet out him. But I'm, but I'm, but I'm. Kicked him in his bird. If you know what that's from, then alright. Little trailer park boys reference for y'all there. Uh, I'm not Canadian, but I still love that show. <clears throat> and don't ask who my favorite is, because I kind of like all of them. Uh, I feel like. It's just a great show with some very well-rounded characters. Um, now, there are different rendering options for this as well. Um, I didn't get too fancy with them because I was more interested in showing how this game. Um, <clears throat> now, we, we do have one winner for Hollow Specs, but we have one more pair to give away, guys. So if you are into the idea of the hollow specs thing, you like that, um, like I said, uh, <clears throat> take a screenshot, show us how you promoted us, the one we're most impressed with, wins the copy. And they are hollow specs, you look at light, you see cool things, and they're yours. Um, and that is courtesy of American Paper Optics. Uh, so yeah, we're also doing this late. Normally I do these during the day. This is in the evening tonight. Um, I figured I would... I, I had promised you guys other Let's Plays. I have not had a chance to do them all yet. And I do not break a promise to you guys. You know that. So... I was owing you a Let's Play. A Let's Play you shall have, my friends. Um, we have some cool ones coming up, too, this week. But like I said, you're going to probably want to Google a guide on how to use the front loader, it's called, for this, if you've never used one. You will need the WAD file from either Doom or Doom 2. Um, and guys, come on now. If you don't have one, I'm sure you can... Technically, you're supposed to buy it. It. So, you know, just be like, hey, brother who has the Doom discs, I will buy your copy of Doom for like five bucks, you know, whatever. 
Um, I think you can actually even digitally download, uh, like buy and download a copy of GOG. You know, Steam has it. You have options, so I don't want to hear no excuses. Oh, I can't find a, a legal copy. Yes, you can. You can find a decent, legal, working copy of Doom right there on Steam. <coughs> Uh, and the WAD file for that is what you need. Then you drag and drop the WAD file for that, you drag and drop the other files, including the HUD file, this HUD file I will link you out to. You just drag it in there. Um, just start your ZDL thing, your, your uh, front loader. It will ask you a few small things like, you know, what port are you using? So you will find the EXE file for DZ Doom, and it will know that's what you're using. And now you're all probably laughing at me here because I'm running around with an idiot because it's not really with the life screen. How the heck do I get up there? But uh, there's a way. There's a way. I, mean, I feel like there's a switch on this one that I should have hit. There is, isn't there? There always is. That's how it starts. There we go. There was another seeker on here. What did we get? Guys, let's take a look. Bunk. That's what we got. More of the same. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't quite know how they do in this one anyway. The uh, that's. I knew I forgot something. Again, guys, you gotta bear with me here. It's been a little while since I uh, sat there and played through Doom Two. Um, I was testing this at Doom 1 last time, so... <clears throat> but no, like I said, man, when Doom came out, oh boy did that change things. Because finally there was a game where I was playing in a horror movie, you know? Blew my mind. Not as much as we're blowing the minds of these things right now, or at least the brains out of them. Or in some cases, kicking. Hello, my honey. Hello, my darling. Hello, my right time girl. Alright. Um, so, please drop your opinions of this down. Too excessive? Do you guys like it? If you played the, the newest Doom, then I don't think you can call this excessive. Because that one is gory, gory, gory. I do not own that yet. Um, but I will, sometime. Kind of do a Let's Play. Hey, guys, other question. Should I do a Let's Play of either System Shock 2 or... Or would you guys like to see me do Doom 3? Uh, as a hardcore Doom fan, would you find it humorous to see me do Doom 3? Let me know in the comments which one I should do. Um... Y'all have options with this here, so don't mess it up, alright? To use the power of the Doom side. Again, I am sucking at this today because by now I would already clear this whole map. Oh my god, what am I doing? It's right over there. Get. It doesn't help that I'm not fully awake now, does it, guys? Though I'm not going to use any bullshit excuse. It's, quite frankly, um, been a long day. Been a long day. Um, we are in correspondence. We have one really good game that we would love to do. But we have not been cleared to, cleared to cover for you all yet, so we're waiting on that. Um, we may do our first age-restricted Let's Play as well. Um, Hades seems to be a popular series you guys like. And somebody said, you know, well, how come you never do, you know, how come you didn't do, like, an adult version of the house party one? Why don't you do an adult version of this one, an adult version of that one? So we very well may say, yes, okay, we'll do an adult version of one of them. And that one may very well be Hades. Um, not gonna promise for sure yet. We're, we're still... There's some pros and cons, guys, you know. Uh, the pro uh, is pretty obvious. You guys keep asking for it. The con is 
by doing that, less people get to see that Let's Play if it's age restricted. Um, house party, same same deal. I gotta be very careful with what we try to do in house party with what we show and don't show. Actually, oh boy, in this one you really get attacked. And of course, I'm out of ammo. Are you kidding me? Uh, you. You think you saw my point? Um, so no, I, I personally... What are your guys' thoughts on it? Uh, let me know your own personal opinions on it in the comments. Do you guys watch Adrian's Stick Good Let's Plays, yes or no? Um, House Party has some reasons why I can't do that whole game the way I think you would like to see it done. Um, YouTube does not allow, uh, we'll just say adult acts, frivolous acts like that, to be put in videos, even if they are age-restricted. Where and how were you last round, buddy? Let's see, so right now he's gonna, Oh, He gave him the old Jimbo special, didn't he? The old Razzmatazz. The old, uh, Sparkly Dew. I don't even know if anything I said makes sense, but it doesn't matter. So this dude is cleaning house for me right now, like a good fellow marine. Oh god, get up there. I don't want to go down there yet. Uh, I do know there are a bunch of these other little drappy dude places where we can get some stuff, but I am almost dead and I need help. Oh, look at that, guys! Did you hear my pain scream? My guy was not happy. He was not playing with power. All right. It's definitely got to be shotgun time. I, I gotta, I gotta hit him hard and hit him quick. All right, little health now. Little health. We're slowly building back up. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm playing this uh, sloppier than a pair of Sony kind of sing karaoke without a pain. Well, of course you have to do pair of Sony, but you know what I mean. Watch, this becomes the one video that goes viral and Miss Hill actually sees it. I don't care. I'm gonna take a joke, you're already rich. Anyway. <clears throat> Ooh. So this guy is, uh, he's a good, he's a good soldier, man. Give me some backup muscle. Um. Oh god. I forgot about him. I don't know why. I literally just told you guys about five minutes before that said every one of these had somebody in it, didn't I? Um, again, now, if you guys like this, let's play enough. Like I said, I will do another. Get him. You, get. I would like it if I could, like, tell him, like, hey, guy, take him out, you know? We're not there yet, though, but we're working on it, guys. We're working on it. Oh, dude, I hate this one. And I don't think my muscle is with me right now. And right now, I need the muscle because my guy is... I mean, you see his picture there. He is almost dead. He is a lot like a drunk guy in a country song. You know what I'm saying? He, he is just beaten hard. Oh, sh Well, I will give Doom credit for one thing. You know when the baddies are coming, at least because of the sound. That is one thing they do excellently. Right now, I hate to desert my friend, but I need health, man, badly. So we're going to hunt for secrets and health. Oh, no, that's one of those floating freaking skulls. I hate those. They, these guys actually talk too. They will like comment on stuff for you. Um, one of my favorites was, uh, you guys see those freaky skulls, man? That's some crazy shit. And I crack up every time because I feel like, yeah, that's something a guy would probably say in real life. Like, you know, you wouldn't be like, oh, that's so normal. No, that shit's not normal. None of that's normal. But at least we're getting a ton of ammo now. Yes. My gun. I used to be a surgeon in this game with, uh... Now, when I first got Brutal Game, where I was playing it, 
trust me, uh, uh, bones played it a lot. A lot, a lot. Uh, this was on play constantly, man, and I was killer in it. I made poetry with this gun. See, that's where they'll talk to you there. We hear. That is the exact sound effect. Don't knock it. Oh, how. Thank you. Are you alive still? Not now. Um. <clears throat> but no, you know, and we enjoy doing this channel for you guys. We've had some great, great videos so far that we've enjoyed doing. Um, take 5089, for example. Uh, that was a, a lot of fun. Uh, and actually, quite a nice developer, um, Fruit is. Uh, case in point, I actually wrote him because so I was getting my ass kicked in a certain part, and I really needed some help, uh, advice wise. And, you know, look, what am I doing wrong? What could I be doing better here? He actually stopped what he was doing to take the time out to actually give me some pointers. And when a developer takes time out of their day to talk with you, I always make sure I let you all know because I feel like that is commendable and should happen more often. Now, you also notice one other cool thing about this game here. Not a green marine man. So different, a lot of different variety. Now, I want to say before that map that was a green marine only. Um, now, there are some things, obviously, that are a little wonky or out of place just because this is a beta version. Um, but I will say this is one of those devs that when he is done with this version of this mod, Brutal Doom, again, you can't even say there's a better Doom mod, in my opinion, because there just isn't. This has all the brutality of the new Doom, taking the old Doom's engine so it's lightning fast, Combining the best of both worlds, tons of weapons, totally original stuff. It's it's just, I mean, it's mind blowing. Um, I mean, think about the fact that this guy got this much out of this engine. You know what I mean? It it does. It just blows your mind because I would have never, ever, ever in my life thought that a guy could go through and get this much out of one friggin' game engine. Um, especially one as old as two. And still, you know, he's hand done a lot of this stuff, a lot of new pixel art, um, a lot of loving attention to detail here. <coughs> uh, I had somebody the other day who asked me, you know, hey, what's up with the cop, man? Are we going to get rid of it? Yeah, yeah, I'd love to, trust me. Uh, I want it gone, it wants to stay. That's what's up with the cop. Um, Uh, and I don't know if I actually told you guys this, but back in the day, uh, yours truly actually had to go during this whole flu scare that went around the U.S. Actually, I ended up in the hospital, so, um, had a temperature of 103, much like the foreigner song, I was hot-blooded. Yeah. And they did check it, and they saw. I was. We're gonna try and rock in the sock in here a little. Save some ammo. Um, uh, and I felt bad too because I had my daughter that weekend so the poor girl you know bless her heart was sweet enough and patient enough with me to sit for hours in a, the emergency while they put fluids in me and gave me a saline thing I was very dehydrated uh, and if my temperature had gotten much higher uh, I could have suffered some real damage there so uh, I felt very fortunate that we caught that one we did. And that was only by the grace of my uh, fiance though, that we, we were able to do so. So, um, so yeah, yeah. So uh, it's I have never in my entire life been hit with a bunch of illnesses back and forth, and it seems like I just literally ran through the gambit of every cold I've never gotten before this season. 
Almost like they were like, oh, remember me? Remember how you avoided me? Surprise! And, uh, I was surprised. You were correct there. Now let's test out some grenades, shall we guys? Let's have a little fun. Ba-bam! Did you see the water splash there? Oh, I'm getting shot at. Oh, <laughs> don't do that. Yeah, do not do that to you. Oh, that would have been a rookie mistake, wouldn't it? Uh, what do you guys think? There we go. Now we're gonna do the little oopsie daisy. Come around here. And bam! Do a little snip doodle on him. A little slap waffle. And there we go. Now, if I remember right, I want to say there's a cacao demon over there. Around here. Uh, what is your method for getting rid of them, guys? Are you, are you a shotgunner or are you a bullet person? I myself just use final bullets on these suckers. But some of you out there I know uh, are shotgunners. By the way, beautiful gibs on these things, man. If you don't know what gibs are, go home. I'm kidding. If you don't know what gibs are, that is the uh, extended viscera that you're seeing there. The splatter all over the place. <clears throat> uh, now, I can't promise you we're going through this whole thing tonight. We're just playing a bit of this. I wanted to show this off to you guys. I thought it was neat. Just a nice and easy let's play tonight, guys. Just something simple. I have another that I want to do. I'm not saying the name until I get it worked out. I definitely want to get it worked out before I uh, bother with that. Um, and I'm hoping this other one that we really want to do works out because I really feel like this is a gem that deserves a ton of attention. Uh, I'm excited and I haven't even got to play it yet and I'm still already that hyped about it. <clears throat> I've actually spent 40 minutes in watching just YouTube videos of people playing it. Uh, and a few little things on it. And, and, uh, you know what? I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anymore. Because I don't want to give anything away. And this, I believe, is a tricky one. It's if I remember right, there's a Duke of... A Hell Duke down there. There's Big Ugly. I'm going to do something unique. And snipe some of the other bad guys out of our way first. Because believe me, we don't want anything else contributing to you getting your ass kicked while well, a Hell Duke is messing up. Is that a Hell Duke or a Hell Knight? I know the difference in them is like uh, the color, correct? Skin color and all that? Oh god. There he is, and he is so mad. Oh, headshot of him. <clears throat> Honestly, this is what I should have done first place, because this is the best way to do this. You can headshot things in this, which is fantastic. Quote John Mulaney. It is fantastic. Hi! Um, I actually loved in the instructor manual for Doom, do you know that they describe imps as, uh... Yeah, imps. Those are imps. Uh, the demons as shaved gorillas. Literally, that's that's the full explanation for them, guys. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Just down to me where I was for a minute there. I don't care how long I played this, that part still totally leaves me out. So yes, we are that's never happy sound, now is it? Come fly with me. Come fly away. And I sing horrible, but thank you for listening anyway. Alright, so. I apologize for your drum steps. And probably your dog's howling profusely and ready to go crazy and attack the horrible man singing your, your, your YouTube video. Thank you for humoring me, at least. Um, so yeah, as you can see, tons of features in this. 
uh, I do look forward to doing more of this. And I actually have a whole other HUD that I really dig too, that I almost... I had a really hard time deciding which HUD to show you guys. The other one is actually like a full helmet uh, that somebody has done, and uh, his face, the doom guy's face, is on the left side, it's a holograph. I mean, it does change the fonts, however, and a few other things, but I thought to start with I wanted to do more of a purist. That was some chump. Got some chump shit right there. I should have been able to do that easy. What are you doing? Go this way, Judas. Oh, you know this. Ready for the side park, guys? I actually beat Doom in record time when I was younger. Um, I beat Doom faster than anybody else in my neighborhood. It's true. And no cheap ass cheats either. I did it legit. Um. Oh boy. There we go, that's what I was missing. Well, thank you for the free swag now that I've killed all of you. I am not gonna lie, I would love this guy, and if you're, if you're listening out there, Dev, please do a brutal uh, Wolfenstein. I think I speak for lots of us when I'd say I would love to be able to do some serious, serious damage to some Nazis and dole out some justice, and I think that would be a lot of fun. Now, the crummy part of this, I gotta do this a second time. Why? Because I gotta run like hell all the way up there. So here we go, guys. Let's do it to it. Uh... All our skeletons in the Bones Army. I don't I don't like Bones Army. What do you guys think about skeletons? Is that a good name for our viewers? The skeletons? Uh, let me know. I particularly uh, I'm not sure. We we tossed a few different ideas around on what to call you all. So uh, let me know what you guys think you would like to be called. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there, man. You gotta do that, drop down this side, and then jump there. I don't give up that easy. <clears throat> um, I, I'm not gonna lie, cringe slightly. Because I'm trying not to be your average YouTuber, and yet here I just asked you all what you guys wanted your nickname to be. But, hey, certain conventions are conventions for a reason, and you just can't defy them, and there you are, and blah, 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 so. What are you gonna do, you know? Wow, there it is, what I was looking for, the big candy. Alright, now. Where the captain spouting, we're gonna start the killing, we can start it right here. I did not get to meet, by the way. I was kind of bummed about that, actually. I guess that I met Kane Hatter, did not meet Sid Haig. Sid Haig. Did meet Bill Mosley. Amazingly nice guy. Class act. Super, super polite. Um, just a very warm person. Uh, Kane Hatter was actually quite humble and pretty funny when I met him. Um, easily talkative. Very nice person. So, I gotta say, great experience all around meeting Pulse of that. Yes, me. Now, I believe this is a new feature, too, where they're like, you. I don't think they said that originally in the previous version of this. Um, I feel like he's changed so many gore as well. Where you can adjust it more. You'll see what I mean. If you guys want another Brutal Doom video, let me know and I'll do one. But... As gory as this looks, I'm telling you, I know that it can be gorier. Now you'll notice that not all the keys and all that are shown. That is not a fault of this game. This HUD is its own thing. Um, because this is the demo beta, not everything is going to work as well with the HUD right now until they update the HUD for the next Ruby version. Um, Look what it is, you beauty. 
you guys know what that thing is, then you know why I got excited. Ah, uh, yes, the backpack. One of the greatest sounds in Doom is when you grab that backpack and you get to load up on even more ammo. My goodness. That is a good haul, my friends. A very good haul. So now what do we do? Bones, you say? This is a weird-ass game. Um, I'm curious, how many of you have never played the original, like the real Doom from the 90s? How many of you didn't experience that around that era? Uh, drop me a comment. Let me know. Did you start with three? What did you start with? Actually, even better question. I also want to know, what was your first first-person shooter? I'd love to know that, so let me know. Um, I'm always curious about that stuff, you know? I personally, like I said, it was Wolfenstein, and I had never played anything like that, but... I mean, let's be honest here, Nazis are a very easy enemy to not like, so... That one was kind of a genius move, you know? It was like... Obviously, you wanted to kill him, you're, and it was like, yeah, go USA, and the, the, the storyline and all that, so... It was something, man. It was something. Um, I know Wolfenstein had a earlier game for the Commodore 64, actually. This is true. You can look it up. About Escape from Castle Wolfenstein. Uh, the graphics were awful, because it was an older game. Um, but apparently it's still considered by quite a few people who are, like, more of the retro game aficionados. Uh, they still love it. Uh, I do not remember much about it because I do recall that I played that much of it. Um, if I ever did. Commodore 64, my game used to be the Friday the 13th game. I used to like a game called Hero. Of course, Rogue. Oregon Trail, baby. I was all about Oregon Trail. And then there was another game. I think I know it's there, so I just want to make sure I grab as much ammo as I can to take. Now let's go party. Not gonna lie, those little chain gun guys are deceptively uh, strong. You let them gang up on you, and you're meant to me. Like, I mean, genuinely, that you, you will regret that, trust me. Um, I misunderestimated them when I first played Doom 2 and got my ass beat severely by one. Because I was used to just, you know, the normal, uh... And what was the worst guy before that, really? Just a sergeant with a shotgun, so... Yeah, I can take it. No. That dude would have mowed me down. Man did he ever. Um, and the lava, you can see, he's done new work on that. Um, but yeah, that one was... <laughs> that was brutal. And I was not prepared for it. No mercy, no forgiveness. We are whooping ass. This is our last board for this playthrough. Uh, maybe I'll shoot a few things the next level and then we call it quits here. If you guys would like, though, you want to see another video, the next one I will do would be more stable release uh, version 20B, I believe, um, along with the other HUD. So let me know if it's something you guys are interested in, and I'll throw it out there for you guys, alright? Just, uh, you know, let me know. Keep me updated. Keep me updated. Aren't I a kidder? Y'all don't like me? Peace. <clears throat> Although you should. Uh-uh. We, we, you never know. Uh, somebody out there got a pair of hollow specs just from conversing with us enough, so it pays to communicate with us, guys. It pays. Don't pay money, but it pays in swag. Oh, good. Yes, why did I go in this direction again? I forgot. Look at how big this level is, by the way. 
Do you guys remember that? The map? I'm certainly not making the power for the course time on this, but I really don't care. Um, my one main weakness, without a shadow of a doubt, that I will admit every time is that I love exploring games. Um, always have, always will. And uh, I don't care, man. I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad for that. I enjoy it. So, the funny thing is, I could easily run and make that jump right now. But let's do it legit, shall we? Bada bing. Let's see what the power for the course is, guys. Two minutes. <laughs> I think Doom may have been one of the first speedrun games, come to think of it. Um, <clears throat> oh, that's right. Well, I tell you what. We're going to try our hand at this level, and then we'll deal with it. And then we have beaten the whole uh, first section of this, uh... God, what is her name again? The Manculuses, if I remember right. These are a pain in the ass, so we're gonna get some backup, guys. Um, and we're also gonna get the spider demons to come after them, because the spider demons were a pain. You are free, my son. Kill them. Oh, God, there he is. But you can see what I mean. I mean, just the fact that you have backup now instead of just running around and doing all this yourself, and I'm about to die, um, is remarkable. There he is. Did we kill him already? But you see what I mean now. Take a look at the army. Now, I do like this. Before they were all green, now he's got some. What is this? <laughs> Oh, did he redo the plasma gun? Is this some sort of plasma sniping rifle? This is gorgeous looking. Holy cow. That is awesome. This was not in the last release. I knew there were new guns. One reason I really wanted to show you guys this. We're gonna, we're gonna give this a little test fire here. Oh. My friggin' god, he made a rail gun. He made a rail gun. He made a plasma rail gun. Oh. Uh, I feel like Deadpool when he looks at himself right now. I am so excited. It's ridiculous. And that, this may be one of the coolest weapons I have played with in a game. And there you go. Dead something finished. Tricks and traps. One of the few boards you can actually get stuck permanently and bite it. We're not going to use that one. You guys know, if you know this level, you know the one I'm trying to go for first, just to get it out of the way. I hate what I'm thinking. God, they're so angry. What? Oh, this was so not a good idea. Yeah, not happening, guys. Oh, look at that thing. He works out, eh? Somebody, somebody lifts, doesn't he? Let's be honest. <clears throat> so, uh, let's do that room last. Okay? I know I keep saying, like, oh, this is going to be my last, but... Would you look at this game? It's fun. No, that one I freaking hate. And I have a reason, and if you know... If you know, then you know. And that statement makes more sense than you think. If you have played this level of Tricks and Traps, then you know why that room sucks. That is the one you can get trapped in. Uh, where you can get stuck and not get out. I want to say even with the jumping, you can get stuck in it. Um, now remember, I believe what happens there is you hit these and uh, it either opens another door, or is it this one? Oh, I don't remember. I'm way out of practice in doom. This should not happen.
absolutely love everything that this guy did with Doom, though. I mean, he, he elevated an already classic game in this made at 10 times cooler, which I think is awesome. I want to say it's down here somewhere. If you are not careful, you can certainly stay lost, or it's down. There's one other place it could be, but I think it's here. I think you don't go down there. That one guy just said, you guys think we're going to make it out of this at all? I don't know. Don't ask me philosophical questions. No, we got to go down there. What one am I thinking of? Do you guys know what I'm talking about, though? There is one of these that, if you're not careful, uh, you can't get back up, man. You're just stuck there. Clearly not that one. That's why we came from that way. What is in here, then? Okay, this isn't a bad one. At all. Also, why am I wasting all my best shit on um, these little cube nuggets right here? These ain't nothing. Uh, so anyways, yes, this is a longer Let's Play. I'm trying to make it up to you guys, too. And I like doing longer Let's Plays for you guys because it's more content for you. And on top of it... Um, uh, at least one of you out there has mentioned that they, they basically enjoy that our Let's Plays are longer than some other guys because we talk a little more, we do a little more with them. I enjoy it, man. I do. I, I like doing Let's Plays for you guys. Um, I would like it if we could get our channel promoted a little more. So all you out there who have friends who like Let's Plays, let them know. Let them know. We are actively looking. Uh, is this a grenade launcher he ever did? I think it is. Oh, that is awesome. Look at that, guys. Christmas came early today. Now this, let me tell you, this used to freak me out when I was younger right there. Um, seriously, I actually had a nightmare about just that wall one time. Uh, and you can laugh at me all you want, but I was a younger kid, and it did. It totally wigged me out, man. I was not, not loving that well at all. Not loving it. Alright, so. Trips and traps. Nope, I already done that. Let's do this. Leroy Jake! Okay. And here they come. Walking down the street, and we have to strap, strap, not strap. How did I mess up the word strap, really? Genius, I tell you, genius. Oh, look at that, little razzle-dazzle for those suckers. Very overgrown friggin' iguanas. What do we do with some health, guys? Oh, he's so, he so, so angry. So mad. Have you fed your Duke of Hell today? Oh, I fed him bullets, if that counts. Oh my god, it's so mad. What am I doing? We're just running in there. There's a, I get, there's a vulnerability thing. Let's go. Let's do this. Oh, that's why I'm not. That's why I'm not. Because I just got my ass handed to me. You know what? This time... We're just rushing it. We're just we're just literally going to rush it. Let's get my chain gun out. And let's just balls to the wall, rush it all. Look at all of you beautiful little creatures that I am destroying. Now this is gonna wear out clearly. But this big baddie here is the one I'm after. Because with him dead, we're alright. I am out of my mind. Out of my mind. Eat it. Eat it. You son of bitches. Oh, you don't ever go against your family again, Fredo. I love you, Fredo. You went against your family. You don't ever go against your family again. Jeez. 
told you that you've tipped. Holy cow, that worked. Alright. I doubt I'm gonna get any cooler in the room. Look at the room, guys. Wow. This is like a bad scene from Arachnophobia up in here. Alright. Well, I'm gonna end it here. Um, thank you guys very much for uh, spending the evening of Friday with me here. Enjoying a look. Like I said before, I will link you uh, in very plain things, too. And it will say, like, engine, the engine. That is the exactly what it sounds like. That's the engine you're going to want to use in order to uh, use this. You know, from there, I will link you out to every other thing. Oh, man, it's the plasma rifle. Could you use this before? Oh, my homies are dead, so that's not good. Sounds like a rap song, doesn't it? Oh, my homies are dead. Um, I'm not even... I'm not even stopping. I guess I'm going to go right to it. Oh, God. I'm milking myself. Uh, anyway, so... I've been Bones. If you like this video, uh, make sure to subscribe. Throw a like up there. Comment and talk to us, man. And on top of it, uh, send it to your friends. Alright? Uh, I'm out. Thank you guys very much for spending some time with us tonight. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see another video of Brutal Doom, let me know. I'll throw on the other HUD. He puts on this helmet, like that. And, uh, it's a little different. Um, and I will show you the previous version that's a little more complete. Um, with the double guns implemented and all that. I'm a huge fan of the double. The double rifles just look so badass. Um, alright. Well, thank you guys very much. Enjoy your day. Or night in this case. Enjoy your night.